right, here we go. Gentle glutes and abs work out. Put on some music, get your mat, and we'll start laying down. We'll start with a few warm-up stretches here. Bend your knees, bring your feet flat on the ground, and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Clasping your hands on your right shin, shift your leg left and right. Exploring that range of motion. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring your left knee in and out. Bring your hands to your abdomen to ensure that they are slightly engaged. Keep the small of your back on the ground, switching sides. Bring your left knee in towards your chest, shifting leg left and right. Bring your left ankle to your right knee and pulse in and out with your right knee, keeping your left foot flexed, the small of your back on the ground, tailbone slightly tucked, feet to the ground, bring your right arm across your body, stretching out your tricep, your shoulders, switching arms, left arm across the body. Switching sides, one more time each side. Left arm. All right, rolling out the wrists in one direction and then the other. And then find a butterfly posture with your legs, soles of the feet together, knees wide. This workout can include a band if you wanna um amp it up a little bit. And then do some windshield wiper, butterfly, crossbreed <laughs> stretching here. All right, let's meet in all fours. Cat cow from here. Inhale, chest down, look forward, perhaps even slightly up. Exhale, push the ground away, round your spine. Inhale, shoulder blades to touch. Exhale, look back towards your legs. Child's pose and widen your knees, big toes to touch. Send your seat back, arms out long, forehead to the ground. A few breaths here. Meeting in table, pivot on your left knee, opening your chest to the right, lengthening your right leg out long, draw some arm circles with your right arm. You can have your arm straight or a bend in your elbow, switching sides, pivot on your right knee, left leg straight, arm circles with your right arm. I think I said right arm last time, I meant left. And then coming on to your back for some bridges. Feet flat on the ground. Bring your arms along the sides of your body. Longest finger brushes your heel. And begin to tuck your pelvis. A few pulses here, tucking the pelvis and then flattening and tucking. And then finding your first bridge, 12 repetitions. Press down through your feet. Keep your core slightly engaged. Draw your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze glutes at the top. Press your arms into the ground for more stability. Keep your knees in line with your hips. And a little faster here for 12. Just barely tapping your glutes back down to the ground, if at all. Perhaps even coming to hover your glutes. Pressing up through the heels. Hold at the top. For 12 seconds, engage the glutes. 
Engage your core. And slowly lower down. Straighten your legs up towards the ceiling, flexing the feet or pointing the toes, whatever feels best, dropping one leg to the ground at a time. Keep the small of your back attached to your mat. If by lowering one of your legs, the low back comes off the mat, don't go as low with your legs. Truly focus on your abdomen and its engagement. Option to lift your head off the ground and look towards your thighs. Now everyone, lift your head off the ground, extend your arms out long, keep your legs long towards the sky, and pulse your arms. Not just 12 here, a few rounds of 12. Core strong. Looking towards your toes or looking towards your thighs. And lower your legs into a 90 degree. Bring your palms to your thighs and just push. Keep your knees stacked over your hips. Push your palms into your legs, working your transverse abdominis. Hold for a little longer. And release your feet to the floor. Round two of bridge. Doing that whole little set once more, plant your feet into the ground, ground through all four corners of your feet, lift your toes slightly, and begin to lift your hips towards your ceiling. And instead of focusing on touching your glutes to the ground, focus on touching your low back to the ground. That'll help you keep your pelvis slightly tucked. Lift higher than you think you can, keep your knees in line with your hips, not allowing them to open to the left and right as you press your hips up. Pressing your palms into the ground for more stability. Shoulders flat on the back. Increasing the speed for another 12. Perhaps not even lowering down all the way, just hovering. And hold for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs straight towards the ceiling. Point or flex, whatever's more comfortable, beginning your leg lowers. Focus on your low abs. Option to keep your head on the ground or to lift it off and look towards your thighs. slow and steady so you're truly focusing on what is engaged low back attached to the surface below you navel drawn in towards spine only lowering so far that you can keep your low back on the mat all right pumping up the arms keep your legs towards the ceiling look towards your thighs Pulse your arms up and down a few inches, a few sets of 12. Focus on your breathing, slowly in, slowly out. Ankles stacked over hips. And transverse abdominis, 90 degree angle at the knees. Palms to thighs, press. Doesn't look like you're really doing anything from the outside, but from the inside, I'm sure you are feeling it. Keep your feet flexed here. Press your palms into your thighs and vice versa. And lower your feet down to the ground. All right, rolling onto the right side of your body for some clamshells. Bending at the knees, bringing your heels in line with your hips. Stack your hips on top of one another and begin to lift your right knee towards the ceiling. When you lift your right knee towards the ceiling, 
Do not roll backwards. Keep your hips in place. Draw your abs in so much so that there might be a little space between the left side of your body and the mat. Twelve here. A slight momentary pause at the top before lowering back down. And stay at the top, pulsing for twelve. Lower down, lift, and then kick, and then lower, lift, kick. Combination of a clamshell move here. Pointing the toes as you kick. Resting the right toes on the top of the left foot as you clamshell. Again, keeping your right hip stacked on top of your left not opening to the right as you lift and then kick, even if that means you decrease your range of motion. All right, come onto your back for a full sit-up, arms extended to the ground behind you, slowly lifting up, straightening your arms towards the ceiling, and slowly lifting down. Once again, slow and steady wins the race here. If you do this too fast, you're not even going to use your core properly. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Alright, lift your legs up towards the ceiling once again, straighten your arms towards the ceiling, and slowly reach for your toes, lifting your upper body off of your mat. Exhale to reach towards your toes, inhale to lower down. Each time you lift, you draw your navel in towards your spine even more. Each time you lower, you slightly relax and hold at the top for 12. Reach, reach, reach. Reach a little higher. And slowly lower down, other side. Come onto the left or er, right side of your body now. Left toes on top of right foot, bend at the knees, ankles in line with hips, and open and close your left leg. Stacking left hip over right hip, drawing your core in and up. Micro pause at the top of the range of motion before you lower. Now stay at the top and pulse. Lower, lift, kick, and repeat. It always helps me to keep my hand on my hip, so I'm being aware, being conscious that my hip is not opening to the left as I lift my left leg. Just a few more. And switching sides, starting at the top. Clamshell, right leg. Rest your right toes at the top of your left foot and begin to lift your right knee up and back, keeping right hips stacked over left, navel drawn towards spine. Focusing on the engagement you're feeling in your right glute as you lift your knee up, holding for a microsecond before you lower back down. Hold at the top and pulse. And clam kick. 
keep right hip stacked over left. If resting your head on your hand is too much or causing you to lean back, rest your left ear on your left bicep instead. Coming onto your back, very full, sit up, extending your arms behind you, using your core to lift you up, stacking your head over your hips at the top, extending your arms towards the ceiling, and slowly lowering down, slow and in control. The slower you go, the more you're able to focus on the engagement of the proper muscles to do the posture, to do the move. Whereas if you're going too fast, your core is not going to be engaged. You're not going to get the benefits. No need to rush. Legs towards the ceiling, arms towards the ceiling, and exhale to reach towards your toes. Inhale to lower. Ankles stacked over hips. Upper body lifts off the ground as you reach towards your toes. 12 here, and then a 12 second hold. Holding at the top. And lower your feet back down, switching to side B, left leg. Rest your left toes on top of your right foot as you open your left knee to the side. Your core is engaged so much so that there may be space between the mat and the right side body. This workout may look easy, start to pulse at the top, but it's these micro movements repeated over time. Clam and kick that really fatigue the muscle groups. Here we go. On to the next set of moves. Find a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And extend your left leg out long behind you. Simply begin to lift your left leg off the ground. Heel in line or barely higher than your glute. When it is at the top of its range of motion, keep your navel drawn in towards your spine. Press your palms into the ground. Do not overarch your low back when you lift your left leg. Hold at the top and pulse for 12. Lean more so into your left hand. Curl your right toes under. All right, from here, keep your leg extended out long. Exhale, draw your knee in towards your chest, slightly round your chin towards your chest as well, and then kick back out. Hold at the top, bend at the knee, and bring your left knee to the outside of your right shin, 
and then send the heel towards the ceiling. A different take on donkey kicks. Draw your navel in, continue to breathe, press the ground away, and hold at the top. Pulse here for 12. Press your heel towards the ceiling, lift your knee even higher. Small range of motion for a big burn and lower your leg down. Curl your toes under, lift your knees off the ground just an inch, hover here. Strong core, look to the ground and then barely ahead. Your neck is an extension of your spine. Do not look back towards your thighs. Switching sides. Extend your right leg out long behind you and begin to lift. For more knee support for the left knee, curl your left toes under. Just an option. Focusing on your right glute as you lift your heel higher. Spiral your pinky side edge of your foot down towards the ground, all five toes facing the mat below you. Hold at the top and pulse. And draw knee in towards chest, rounding spine and kicking your leg back out behind you. Twelve here, and then the donkey kick variation. Leg out long, bend at the knee, and lower the right knee to the outside of the left shin, and then kick the heel towards the ceiling. Lean more so into your right hand. Keep your hips level. Focus on the engagement and remember to breathe. So much happening here, even though it doesn't look like it. All right, stay at the top and pulse. A few inches up and down, lifting your knee even higher. All right, come down to the ground. A little different here, so curl the toes under, lift the knees, step back into plank, and then step back into your bear. Leading with the same leg for the first six, stepping the right leg back, then the left, and then the right leg in, and then the left, and repeating. And after six of those, switching to the other side. Keeping your upper body as still as possible. All right, here we go, switch sides. Step the left leg back first, and then the left leg in first. Belly button in and up. Look just barely in front of you. Press the palms into the ground. Press your fingertips into the ground. Stay as still as you can in your upper body. All right, you are done. Just kidding, you're gonna do all of that one more time. <laughs> so find your tabletop position, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, extend your left leg back and begin to lift and lower. If your wrists are talking to you, feel free to come onto your forearms instead, but don't allow this to lose the engagement of your abdomen. And pulse at the top. Draw knee in towards nose and kick back. So to internally rotate your left leg just simply means to keep your hip bones facing the mat below you, not opening your left hip open to the left as you kick back. All five toes facing the ground as well. A few more here. Keep your leg extended, bend at the knee, lower the knee on the outside of the right leg and kick back up. Mm -hmm. 
hold at the top and pulse. And lower down. Curl your toes under, lift your knees, hold here. Strong core, long neck, press the ground away, not too much longer. And lower the knees down, switching sides, right leg this time. Extend your right leg back long behind you and begin to lift and lower. Hold at the top and pulse. Knee to nose and kick back. Careful here to not over arch the low back. You round the spine as your knee comes in, but then you find a neutral spine as the leg goes back. Hold at the top here, bend at the knee, and lower your right knee on the outside of your left calf. Kicking back up, and repeat. Hold at the top here and pulse it out. All right, those plank step backs, first finding bear, hovering your feet off the ground, starting with your right leg for the first six, and then left leg for the last. You are well over halfway through this whole thing. Only 12 minutes left. All right, starting with the left leg, if you haven't switched yet, you could very well be going at a different pace than me, and that's perfectly fine. Strong and stable in the upper body. And lower your knees down. Now this one is going to be a challenge, but we're only doing one round of it. So go ahead, shake out your wrists. Crack your neck, crack your back. <laughs> do whatever you got to do. And then we will meet in a plank. So you'll tap your knees as you send your seat back, and then you'll do one leg lift. So right hand to right knee, left hand to left knee, right leg lift, left leg lift. You'll feel this in the quads, in the core, and the glutes. Neck long, don't let your head drop. Always finding a neutral spine when you are in plank. Keeping your navel drawn in towards your spine as you tap your knees. Pressing the ground away with your hands as you lift your heels. Taking any breaks if you need to. Only one round of this where I'm not repeating this move. Little burnout move here. And then you only have one circuit after this. I took a little break here. I was feeling it in my arms, especially. All right, get right back into it if you took a break. If 
this is not accessible to you, just lower the knees down from bear, do a leg lift, and then find bear again. All right, that is officially over. <laughs> now go ahead and come on to the left side of your body. This time it'll kind of be like clamshells, kind of not at all. <laughs> Bring your knees in line with your hips, 90 degree bend at the knee. Keep your feet flexed and then lift and lower the top leg, your right leg up and down. Once again, keeping your hips stacked on top of one another, core drawn in. It helps me to put my hand on the area of the body I am working so I can focus on the engagement, focus on the sensation. Feel free to rest your head on your bicep. All right, now hold at the top and pulse. Keep your right foot flexed here. And now stay hovered above your left leg, but kick your right leg out and then back in, never lowering the right leg back down to the left leg. keeping your spa, spine <laughs> spine neutral here. So when you kick your leg out, don't arch the back. All right, go ahead and keep your left, or sorry, right leg extended out long and pulse here. And then after this, a dead bug variation. So come to lay on your back left uh, yes left foot on the ground right leg extended out long left arm out long behind you exhale to touch your left hand to your right calf and then lower it all back down for an added challenge lift your left leg off of the ground keeping the left knee stacked over the right hip, left hip and i'm getting all the sides mixed up For more neck support, bring your right hand underneath your right head. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift, and now hold at the top, both hands reaching towards your foot. Lift your left leg off the ground and lower it all down, switching sides so that you are in that Pilates move once again. 90 degree angle at the knees, lifting and lowering your left leg now. Ankle in line with knee, knee in line with hip, keep your left foot flexed as you lower up and down with control. Navel drawn in towards the spine. Hold at the top and pulse. Hold the top, kick your leg out, bring it back in, and repeat. Keep your leg extended out and pulse. Only five more minutes of this workout. All right, dead bug variation on the other side. Extend your left leg out long this time, your right arm out long, exhale to reach. Inhale to lower. Left hand behind your head for more neck support. Option to lift your right leg off the ground. Keeping low back on the mat. Truly using your core to lift your leg off the ground, to lift your arm up towards your leg. All right, lift the leg, hold it there, reach both arms up. and lower it all down. We only have that one more time and then we're done. 
So starting it once again with the right leg, lifting and lowering with that 90 degree bend everywhere, basically. 90 degree bend at the ankle, at the knee, at the hips. Hold at the top and pulse. And kick and bring it in and kick it out and bring it in. Exhale to kick out. Inhale to bring in. And hold the leg out and pulse. Rolling onto your back, extending your left arm out long behind you, your right leg out long in front of you. Exhale to reach. Inhale to lower. A few more. Hold at the top, lifting both arms up towards the ceiling, perhaps bringing your left leg off the ground. All right, switching sides. Lifting and lowering the left leg with the 90 degree bend at the knee. Knee in line with hip. Hips stacked over one another. Keep it lifted in pulse. You're in the home stretch here. Only three minutes left. All right, keep it lifted and kick it out and bring it in. Kick it out, feel it in the glute, bring it in, feel it in the core and the glute. Leave your leg extended and pulse it up and down. All right, final aspect. Extend the right arm out long, left leg out long. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Added challenge, lifting your right leg off the ground as well. Hold at the top, lift your hands towards your foot. Lower it all down, take a few slow rounds of breath, cool off and perhaps repeat the stretches from the beginning. So glad you were here, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you soon.